Some other big news that we've been talking about here. A school teacher has been arrested for allegedly helping one of her former students escape custody. Now, the teenager was found more than 400 miles from where he was being held. Eleanor DeBone spoke with family members of the escapee's victim who believe the teacher should face harsher punishment. The only thing that gives me just a little sigh of relief that she will be on an anchor monitor. Dorothy White has been fighting for justice for her grandson, Daryl Scott, for four years. In 2019, Daryl Scott was walking down this stretch of Morrison when he was approached by Lionel Reynolds. Lionel Reynolds ended up shooting Daryl in the back. Daryl is now paralysed and confined to a wheelchair. 18-year-old Reynolds escaped from a juvenile halfway house on September 13th after a manhunt. He was found in San Antonio, Texas. Police also arrested his former teacher, 31-year-old Angela Filarado. She's accused of helping him after he got out. Authorities tracked Reynolds through his phone where they found nearly 100 communications between the duo. Detectives report she drove him to Texas, dropping him off in Houston. She was booked on one count of accessory to simple escape. She's for Lionel. She is for wrong. I hope she never, ever, ever in life gets to be around any children or ever teach again. DA Jason Williams issued this warning last week about anyone caught aiding and abetting Reynolds. If they assist or aid this escapee in any way, they're committing a crime. Uh, and if they have help, they need to, they need to let, let this office know, let the authorities know when they were in contact with him, where he was headed next, because anyone found to have assisted him, however slight, will be prosecuted. Dorothy recalls seeing Filarado at Reynolds 2019 court hearing where she spoke up for him. We send our children off every day to a safe haven. I wouldn't want to send mine off to a Miss Angela. Tuesday, prosecution pushed for Filarado's bond be set at $500,000. Instead, it was set at $5,000 and she's to wear an ankle monitor. Dorothy says that's far too lenient. That you're going to get out, walk away like you did nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's the look that she had on her face. I did nothing. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. A Filarado faces up to six months in prison if convicted. Lanelle Reynolds was being held at Les Maisons, Les Maisons rather, De Grace Youth Home, which is a non-secure facility in Lake Charles where Judge Bates Anderson had placed him.